Chief Mrs. Bisoye Esther Tejosho was born in Nagoko Abekuta on June 22, 1916 into an Egba royal family. Her grandfather was Oshile of Okiono, Obakanwi the first. She started her primary education at Church Missionary Society CMA School, now Anglican Primary School in Abekuta. Her high school experience was at Idiaba Girls School, also in Abekuta, in the 1920s. Subject thoughts in those days include cookery, handworks, and needleworks, laundry, and dressmaking. Mama agrees totally that school days are indeed the best time of one's life. After high school, in the year 1934 to be precise, Mama got married to a teacher she had met when she was a pupil at Igwe Primary School. Pa, Joseph Shomoye Tejosho, who was then a teacher at the same school and later joined the Nigerian Railway Corporation. Six years on in marriage, Pa, Tejosho was transferred to the office of the Railway Corporation in Zaria. That was how the family had to relocate to the northern part of Nigeria in 1940. In Zaria, Mama Bisui Tejosho thrived in trading foodstuff with southern Nigerians. She used the railway to transport goods from Zaria to Lagos. In the early 1950s, she became an agent for the United African Company USC and in later years added Bono Industries to her list of suppliers. She became very successful during this period and acquired real estate in various parts of the country. In the early 1960s, she was a major dealer of Vono mattresses in Broad Street and was approached by a Norwegian businessman for a partnership in a foam manufacturing venture. The partnership took off in 1964 when Nigerian Polyurethane Limited started producing its own brand of cool foams. 1970, after disagreeing with her partners in a foam and carpet manufacturing venture, she decided to build her own factory. She got a loan from the Nigerian Industrial Development Bank and established Tejo Industries, a firm specialized in foam manufacturing. Over the years, she ventured into other businesses. She is known as a pioneering woman who attained the summit of financial independence and success through due diligence and hard work. On Saturday, 23rd January 1982, Mama was installed as the third Yalude of Igbaland. Late Chief Mrs. Bisui Tejosho, born into a Christian family, she attended St. James's African Church, now Cathedral of St. James's African Church, Idiakwe, in Agogo from her childhood days. Even while in Zaria, her family worshipped at St. George's Anglican Church. Mama and her husband often provide accommodation for priests and men of God, especially from the south, on visits to Zaria. Until her death, Mama was also a staunch member of St. Jude's Anglican Church in Butemeta, Lagos. She was matron of many societies in the church, including the St. Jude's Church Choir. She was a lover of music. <laughs>
conducted daily in Chief Bisui Tejosho's household. A legacy she passed on, even to our great grandchildren. One of our favorite hymns is hymn number 303 in the Anglican Yoruba hymn book. Ay bagbobila timi loluwa. Onwo si dide fun igbalami. Kin sha ma gbadura. Onwo se ranwo. Gba ti Christi wa lodo mi. Ifo ya Also in 1982, she became the Iyajo of the Cathedral of St. James's African Church, Idiakwe Agoku in Abeokuta. Mama passed on to glory on the 19th of September 1996. She excelled in business and service to the community. In recognition of her contribution to commerce and industry in Nigeria, she was honored with the Nigerian National Awards of the Member of the Order of Niger, OON. Nigeria's first female industrialist, Yeyoba Okionegba, third Iyaludi of Egbaland, a distinguished and patriotic Nigerian. Didum, didum, you know,